McDonald's Grimace Shake trending all over the internet, I have to talk about something that happened a few years ago. I've kept it on the down low, but what I experienced is so eerily similar to what people are doing in their videos that I have to think it was somehow created because of what I was involved in. Unfortunately, I also think it's a good idea for me to remain anonymous, otherwise I might not be safe. At the time, I was 19. My first year in college had just ended, and I was hanging out every night with my old friends who I'll call Kyle and Ivan. We didn't enjoy partying, but we also didn't want to stay inside all summer, so we had this nightly routine of hanging out by this old park bench in a secluded spot in the woods near our neighborhood. The grounds were technically closed to the public after dark, so there were no lights. So if you wanted to see anything in the pitch blackness, you had to bring a flashlight. We would take turns bringing beer and whatever else we wanted to enjoy ourselves, plus some McDonald's to go along with it. After we each picked up the goods, we'd all converge at the bench and just sit there for hours, completely carefree about being disturbed by anyone. The funny thing was that none of us had cars, and everything was drive through only after dark, so one of us would always have to pathetically walk to the drive through window to order our food. One night, it was my turn to get the food, but unfortunately things were about to take a dark turn for the worst. During that time, McDonald's was doing a different promotion for another drink they were selling, the blueberry pomegranate smoothie. It wasn't the grimace shake, but it was pretty close in color, and it was going viral for some reason too, though not as big as the grimace shake. While I was walking to the McDonald's, my friends kept spamming the group chat, asking me to get the smoothie. I was reluctant to get it because we usually didn't get drinks since we had beer anyway, but I was eventually convinced when Kyle and Ivan offered to pay me extra for it. As always, the creepy guy who worked the late shift at McDonald's gave me a hard time for walking through. Three Big Macs, three large fries, and a blueberry pomegranate smoothie? Yeah. You know, you're supposed to have a car if you want to order something, right? Well, we can get everywhere on foot as well, sir. Is that how you drive your wife? Excuse me? As long as your legs are still working. <laughs> Here's your food, and don't forget your smoothie. Uh, okay. Thanks. After getting away from that weirdo, I made my way to the bench. During my walk, I tried a sip of the smoothie, but immediately spat it out as it was too sweet for me. Kyle and Ivan, on the other hand, couldn't get enough of it. The two of them kept passing the smoothie back and forth, slurping it like animals until the whole thing was gone in under a minute. Jeez, you guys really enjoyed that smoothie, huh? Dude, this tastes like crack. Only crack you tasted was your ex's wagon. You trying to throw hands, tough guy? <coughs> In the middle of his sentence, Kyle couldn't speak anymore. He started choking and convulsing as purple poured out of his mouth. Then, before I knew it, Evan was choking too. In a matter of seconds, they were both on the ground, twitching and spitting up purple. Kyle? Ivan? What the hell is going on? Someone to call the cops! Help! They went totally motionless before my eyes. Panicking, I pulled out my phone to call an ambulance. But then out of nowhere, Ivan and Kyle both started laughing. <laughs> Tears were streaming down their faces, and they could barely get a word in through their laughter, except to tell me how good they got me. I was annoyed, but I had to admit that it was a funny prank to pull off on the spot. The next two nights when I was off the hook for McDonald's, Kyle and Evan got the smoothie again. Then it was my turn to do the walk of shame through the drive through again. This time, the creepy guy at the window was extra disturbing. He was always weird, but he never smiled until that night. And then he couldn't stop smiling. I didn't even have to order either. He anticipated what I would get. The usual? Um, yeah, thanks. You're welcome. Come back again, if you can. What? I got fed up and walked away, but then a chill ran down my spine as I heard him laughing from afar. I tried to ignore it, but it killed my appetite. When I got to the bench, I didn't want a sip of that smoothie, and I could barely take a bite of my burger. Kyle and Ivan didn't notice me sulking though. After just a few minutes, they had eaten everything, and the smoothie was long gone. And then out of nowhere, I could see them both choking up in the same manner as before. It looked like my friends were trying to pull the same prank on me. They started convulsing and spitting up purple foam, but I wasn't buying it. I stared them down, unmoved as they collapsed. Even when Kyle tried to grab my feet while pleading for his life, I didn't believe him. Unfortunately, it wasn't a joke. Once I realized they were actually poisoned, I called for help immediately. 
They were taken to the hospital where they were stuck in comas for weeks. It turns out that the McDonald's worker was responsible for this and had intentionally laced the shakes with narcotics. Since then, I have lost contact and was no longer friends with the pair. All I know is that they tried to settle the matter in court with a bunch of shady McDonald's lawyers, but I don't think they got anywhere. I still think it's crazy that this Grimace Shake trend is such a huge thing, considering it's so close to what really happened a few years ago to me and my friends. This story was inspired by an incident that happened in 2016. A man went to McDonald's and bought a drink from a worker. When he consumed the drink, he immediately blacked out cold. When he was treated at the hospital, it was alleged that the man nearly died. After obtaining a sample from the consumed drink, it was revealed that his drink was laced with lethal substances. The man fortunately survived and has since stated that he developed severe anxiety and post-traumatic stress disorder and will likely need counseling for the rest of his life. Huh, I guess there's no after party. Good thing I ordered a cab when I did. Now if it'll only get here. <sighs> Stupid cab drivers can never figure out how to pull up to an address. What is this guy doing? Hello? Who am I speaking with? I'm your fare. Where are you? Oh, it's you. I'm right here. Huh? Whoa! Alright, I'm coming. It takes him an hour to get here, but then he sneaks up on me. That's just great. Hello! Hey, what are you doing out so late? I was partying, then I was waiting for you. Oh, so you're gonna be one of those people who leaves a bad review. No, I'll tip and everything, I just wanna get home. That party sucked. Huh, well maybe next time you should send me an invite. Uh, sure, dude. Why did I get in the front seat? This guy is such a pain. What are you watching there? I'm just watching TikToks. Could you keep your eye on the road, please? I know how to drive a car, dipshit. It's my job. I was just trying to make conversation. Okay, okay. It's all just Grimace Shake videos, alright? Oh yeah, I've seen those. Doesn't it make you want to get one? Not really. Have you ever tried one? Nope. Then let's go get some. Right now. Wait, I, I didn't want to stop by McDonald's. I just wanted to be dropped home, dude. What are you saying? I'm saying I just want to go home. I don't want to stop anywhere, so making me would be unprofessional. <laughs> Where do you have to go that's so important? I want a grimace shake, and since you think you could tell me how to do my job, you're gonna pay for it! Hey, watch out! I don't have any money! Don't lie to me, you slimy prima donna! Watch out! Hey! Open your eyes and get your money out, you wimp! And don't you dare piss yourself on my seat! Hey, anyone in there? The sign says you're open. Hello? What's that supposed to mean? Talk to me like a normal person! They're trying to get us to leave. Nobody wants to work these days, I guess. Well, I guess they won't serve us then. We should just go- Shut up, you crybaby! Get in there and make them serve us! What? Why me? Wah, wah, wah. He's complaining all you know how to do! Unless you want to be stranded here, I suggest you go inside and get me some Grimace Shakes! N no I'm not. I'll, I'll go get them. Just don't leave me here. You've got five minutes! Any longer and I'm gone! You got that? Okay, I've got it. Hello? Is anybody here? What the hell is going on here? What am I doing? I just want to go home. Oh, God. I don't have a choice. Hello? Is anybody back there? I'd like a couple Grimace shakes. I can hear you, damn it! I don't know what you're doing back there, but you better get out here and do your job, or you're gonna get me completely screwed over! <sighs> what did you want? I, 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 I just, 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 
two, two Grimace shakes, p please. Follow me to the back. This is how we make them. We use this machine here to combine blue content and red content to make the purple drink the world loves. Do you wanna see how we make the red contents? Where... Where are the red contents, sir? Just inside here. What? <laughs> come out, come out, wherever you are. What's the meaning of this? Where did that idiot go? Why don't I have my Grimace shake already? And who are you supposed to be? Some sort of mascot? This is ridiculous! Ah, put me down! Somebody help me! Wanna try the new Grimace shake? This presentation may contain language and scenes which may be objectionable to certain individuals. Viewer discretion is advised. I guess you could say I live a pretty horrible life. I live in a family of three. Me, my dad, and my brother. We used to be four, but my mom passed away years ago due to diabetes. She's had a McDonald's addiction that eventually got the best of her. None of us have really been the same since she died. You'd think that with what happened to her, we'd stop wanting McDonald's as much, but it was more of the opposite. That's what all the three of us ever ate. I guess we were just trying to carry on with the tradition. It somehow made mom feel closer. We were all starting to look pretty terrible, and the house was too. It was always dark. We never bothered to turn the lights on, or we hadn't paid the electric bill. I'm honestly not too sure which it was. The place was absolutely filthy too. None of us ever cleaned anything. There was garbage and dirt all over the place. Mold covered the ceilings and walls, while rats and insects crawled around everywhere. None of us gave a crap anymore. My dad was always in the living room eating fries all day, only taking a break to eat the occasional Big Mac. My brother, well I never saw him. He stayed in his room all day. Neither me or my dad have seen him in years. I don't even know what he looks like now. It can't be good though. He hasn't shaved or gone to the washroom since he's been in there because there's no washroom in his bedroom, which meant he hadn't showered in years. I guess he must have done his business in that room because he didn't go anywhere else. It had to be horrible in there. My dad didn't really seem to care much about my brother anymore. Not that he seemed to care much about me either. He still made me feed him though. I hated doing it. I was honestly scared as hell of my brother. I didn't know what he did in his room all day, and I didn't want to find out. 
Either my dad or I had to give him food through a large hole in his door. It was usually just fries and Big Macs. But more recently though, all my brother started wanting was this new Grimace shake that McDonald's had come out with. It somehow went viral and he must have seen a video of it. He stopped eating anything else I brought him and demanded the shakes instead. It was like he was obsessed with the concoction. I was always doing the grocery shopping anyway, which really just meant grabbing more McDonald's. I guess you could say I was the most normal one out of all of us since mom died. I spent a lot of time eating at a restaurant far away from that dump that we called a home. I hated the sight of it. I told myself countless times that I should just leave, but I always found myself going back. One night, I had just arrived home with the groceries, and I noticed that my dad wasn't in the living room. This was really strange because he was always in the exact same spot. He sat in this ratty armchair that had rips and tears all over it and it smelled like trash. I figured he must be in the bathroom, but when I checked, he wasn't there. I went to my brother's room to ask him if he knew where dad was, but when I did, something freaky happened. Hey, have you seen dad? He's not in the living room. WHERE'S MY GRIMACE SHAKE?! I was scared out of my mind. I handed the shake over and got the hell out of there. This went on for a few days. I just kept on taking care of myself and my brother, having no idea where my dad was. Part of me thought that he had finally come to his senses and left, but a horrible thought had been growing in my mind. One night, I couldn't take it anymore. It was pitch dark and there wasn't a sound in the entire house. Even the rats were quiet. I grabbed a flashlight and crept towards my brother's room. I stopped for a second and listened for any sign of someone moving around in there. My heart was beating like crazy. I heard nothing. It was a tomb. I took a deep breath and slowly pushed open the door. It creaked loudly and I froze, terrified that my brother had heard it, but I guess he was too deeply asleep to notice. That idea made me relax a little. I slowly brought the beam of the flashlight up and looked around the room. It was a total dump, putrid and disgusting. Garbage and half-eaten food lay everywhere. I felt sick, however gross the rest of the house was. It was ten times worse in that room, and it somehow felt even darker. I looked around some more, hoping to see any sign that my dad had been in there. Then I heard some weird gurgling sounds. They sounded awfully familiar somehow, but I couldn't put my finger on it. Then, my heart sank as I suddenly realized that it was my dad. I spun around the room, trying to pinpoint the source of the noise, and then the flashlight fell on him, and I saw everything. My dad was laying on the floor, covered in purple, with the entire lower half of his body missing. Ah! I gasped in horror and stumbled backwards. Then I turned the flashlight to the side and saw my brother. He was standing completely still and staring back at me, but he didn't look like my brother anymore. He looked like a real-life grimace with the scariest face ever. Ah! 